before the lights from the LCD screens took over the Las Vegas Strip, an illuminating piece of architecture known as the Neon Light lit up one of the most famous boulevards in the country. There was nobody that did it better than in Las Vegas. We had the best neon designers in the world here. And for those too young to remember it, the signs are on display at the Neon Boneyard in downtown Las Vegas. One of the most beautiful signs in the Boneyard is the Stardust sign. The Stardust doesn't exist anymore, and if people have seen the movie Casino, it's based on the activities that took place in the Stardust Hotel. The Neon Boneyard has been around for 15 years, with visits to the site previously done only by appointment. But recently, the site has opened its doors to the public with guided tours, Monday through Saturday. Uh, the signs are curated in such a way that they tell a story. So as you walk through with the tour guide, you'll go through the old uh, downtown, where the old Golden Nugget, the old Horseshoe, the Moulin Rouge, and those signs will lead you down. And then you, you'll circle around and see some of the signs of the old Las Vegas Strip. Properties like the Desert Inn, the Stardust, um, the Tropicana. So it's a walk down memory lane through these signs. The neon lights at the Boneyard may be out of service, but it looks like the signs are still providing a historical service for Sin City. Reporting from Las Vegas, Pete Griffin, Fox News.